Welcome back to our indoor urban farming series. Today, we're diving into the anatomy of one of the most popular herbs, basil. Did you know that each part of the basil plant plays a unique role in its growth and health? Let's take a closer look at how this amazing plant works. First, let's talk about the leaves. Basil leaves are broad, smooth edged, and can range from bright green to purple. They have that distinct aromatic scent that we all love in cooking. Did you know that the leaves are the powerhouse of the plant? Responsible for photosynthesis, where sunlight is turned into food for the plant. The basil stem is sturdy, either green or purple, and acts as the highway for nutrients and water. The stem supports the entire plant, transporting what the leaves need to grow. Basil's roots are fibrous and shallow, making them perfect for absorbing nutrients and water. In hydroponic systems like this, they thrive with constant access to water, ensuring the plant grows strong. These roots are vital for feeding the plant. Without healthy roots, the entire system breaks down. Basil flowers grow at the top of the plant, typically in white or purple clusters. While they're beautiful to look at, we often prune them off because too much flowering can divert energy away from leaf production. Basil seeds are small, black, and hard, but when soaked in water, they form a gelatinous coating. These seeds are commonly used in drinks and desserts around the world, valued for their unique texture and health benefits. The scent and flavor of basil comes from its essential oils, such as eugenol and linalool, found in the leaves, stems, and flowers. These oils are not only what gives basil its distinctive aroma, but also play a role in protecting the plant from pests. The nodes are points on the stem where new leaves and branches grow, critical for healthy plant development. The space between nodes, called the internodes, varies based on the plant's growing conditions. Finally, the cuticle is a waxy layer covering the leaves, protecting them from water loss and environmental stress. It's nature's way of shielding the plant. And there you have it, the anatomy of basil from roots to leaves and everything in between. Each part plays a critical role in making basil one of the most versatile and aromatic herbs around. Whether you're growing it for cooking or simply enjoying the beauty of this plant, Understanding how it grows helps us care for it better. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Hi there, and welcome back to our indoor urban farming series. Today, we're going to explore the amazing nutritional benefits of basil. This humble herb is not just a flavor enhancer. It's packed with vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and more. So let's get started with why adding basil to your diet can be so beneficial. Basil is loaded with important vitamins. First, let's talk about vitamin K. Just a small amount of basil can provide more than your daily requirement. Vitamin K helps with blood clotting and supports strong bones, preventing fractures and even reducing the risk of heart disease. Basil also contains vitamin A, which is essential for your vision and immune system. It helps keep your skin healthy and promotes the production of new cells. And let's not forget about vitamin C. This powerful antioxidant boosts your immune system, helps your skin heal faster, and aids in absorbing iron from plant-based foods. Basil isn't just about vitamins. It's also rich in essential minerals like calcium, iron, and magnesium. Calcium is important for strong bones and teeth, and it also supports your muscles and heart function. Iron plays a critical role in producing hemoglobin, the protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen throughout the body. This helps prevent anemia, which can cause fatigue. Magnesium is involved in more than 300 bodily functions, including regulating nerve function, blood pressure, and even energy production. It's an important mineral for overall wellness. Now let's talk about antioxidants. 
Basil contains flavonoids like vicinin and orientin, which help protect your cells from damage caused by free radicals. This can reduce the risk of chronic diseases, including heart disease and cancer. Basil's essential oils, including eugenol and linalool, also have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, which can help reduce inflammation, relieve pain, and lower the risk of diseases like arthritis and heart disease. Basil is also rich in polyphenols like rosmeric acid and caffeinic acid. These compounds not only protect the plant, but also help support our cardiovascular health, reduce oxidative stress, and improve brain function. They may even help reduce the risk of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. So next time you're enjoying basil in your meal, remember that it's not just adding flavor, but also powerful phytochemicals that support your health. Did you know that basil is incredibly low in calories? You can add it to your food for a burst of flavor without having to worry about your caloric intake, which makes this an excellent choice for anyone who is looking to manage their weight. Though we use basil in small quantities, it also provides some dietary fiber, which supports healthy digestion, maintains bowel movements, and helps regulate blood sugar levels. Fiber also promotes good bacteria in the gut. And that's a wrap for our deep dive into the nutritional benefits of basil. From vitamins and minerals to antioxidants and fiber, basil is a nutritional powerhouse. So the next time you enjoy this herb, know that you're not just adding flavor, you're adding a boost of nutrition to your meal. Thanks for watching and happy harvesting. Hello and welcome back to our indoor urban farming series. In today's video, we'll cover how to properly harvest your hydroponic basil and store it so that you can enjoy its fresh flavor whenever you need it. Let's start by talking about the best tools for the job. When it comes to harvesting basil, the best tools to use are sharp pruning shears or kitchen grade scissors. Sharp tools are essential for making clean cuts which minimize damage to the plant and help it recover faster. Sharp pruning shears also make it easy to harvest individual sprigs or leaves without disturbing the rest of the plant, especially when using the cut and come again method. Wear cut gloves to protect your hands and store your tools in a sheath or a safe place when not in use. When harvesting, focus on cutting the outer leaves first, leaving the inner leaves to grow. This method allows the basil plant to keep producing fresh leaves throughout the growing season. Always make your cuts just above a node. This will encourage the plant to branch out and grow even more leaves. Once harvested, there are several ways to store fresh basil. For short-term storage, you can keep basil in water at room temperature. Simply trim the stems, place them in a jar of water, and then cover the leaves loosely with a plastic bag. You can also store basil in the fridge by wrapping the leaves in a lightly dampened paper towel and placing them in a perforated bag or loosely sealed container in the crisper drawer. This method helps the basil stay fresh for up to seven days. For slightly longer storage, you can freeze basil by blanching the leaves in boiling water for 10 to 15 seconds and then transferring them into an ice bath. Once blanched and dried, you can freeze the basil in airtight containers or freezer bags. You can also blend basil and then with a little olive oil, freeze it in ice cube trays, making it convenient for cooking. For long-term storage, drying basil is an excellent option. To air dry basil, gather the stems into small bunches, tie them together, and hang them upside down in a well-ventilated area. After about one to two weeks, the basil will be fully dried and ready to store. Crumble the leaves into an airtight container and keep them in a cool, dark place. Dried basil can last for up to one year if stored in an airtight container away from light and heat. 
Avoid crushing the leaves until you're ready to use them to preserve their essential oils and maximize flavor. Always store your basil in a cool, dark place to retain its aroma and flavor. Now you know the best ways to harvest and store your basil. Whether you want to keep it fresh for a few days or enjoy it dried all year long. Thanks for watching and happy harvesting! Hi everyone and congratulations on completing our basil series. Whether you're growing basil for the first time or are a seasoned grower, we hope you've enjoyed learning about every step of the process from planting your seeds to harvesting and storing this aromatic herb. But basil is just the beginning. Our indoor urban farming series also covers a wide range of other plants that you can grow hydroponically. From crisp, fresh lettuce to fragrant herbs like mint, thyme, and rosemary. Each plant has its own unique needs and benefits, and we've designed separate series just for them. You can learn everything you need to grow your own indoor garden filled with vibrant, healthy plants year round. We want to thank you again for joining us on this basil growing journey. Be sure to check out our other series to continue expanding your hydroponic garden with new plants and techniques. Happy growing and we'll see you next time.